Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning into My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week, I'm in Devil's Lake, North Dakota for Devil's Run. This show's in its 16th year, and it's basically four days of a lot of fun. There's all sorts of stuff going on all over town with contests like muffler wrapping, flame throwing, burnouts. Oh yeah, and did I mention there's a lot of really, really cool cars? Let me show you just a few of them. Damn, what a fabulous show. You know, you and I have been talking for years about yes, this event. Yes, we have. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm so glad I finally got up here. What a great event. I love I love everything about it. You know, the parade, that, had to, that has to be one of the coolest parades I've ever seen. There are hundreds of cars and thousands of people. I've seen a lot of cars, too, from a lot of different places. A lot of Canadians here. A lot of Canadians. There are people here uh, from uh, Washington, the state of Washington. There are people here from Chicago and up into Michigan. Uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, of course, Montana, and South Dakota. Well, you know, the nice thing about this part of the country here is, is it's laid back, good old uh, USA. I help you because I can do some good welding and you're a good body man or maybe you can install a glass or do some upholstery work and we all work together and it really is a lot of fun. Wow. And, and, and here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Yes. I mean, it's a little out of the way. It's this just... is God's country, Dennis. Don't ever forget it. This is God's country. This is where everybody wants to be. Well, on a day like this, I can certainly see why. What do you say? Let's go check out a few of these cars. Okay, sounds good. All right, good. let's go. Thank you. Well, Steve, <laughs> I saw you with this car out on the streets a while ago. And I'm yep. like, oh man, I love that car. I gotta find this guy. Mm -hmm. And you're here. This here is so cool. This is a, this is a. It's a 1962 bug. We call it rat bug. It looks like a rat bug. But you did some work on, on the roof here. I mean. The roof was a big one. The roof, yeah. we got a four and a half inch chop in the roof. Man, that's a, that's a, that's a major that's chop right. there. We sectioned it down the middle and we used another bug as a donor for the center section. The, the less fortunate bug. The less fortunate, the less fortunate bug, bug. Yeah, it lost out and it donated <laughs> its roof. But it lives on. It lives on in the rat bug. Uh huh. This has got to be a really, really tough car to chop. I mean, it's like chopping a ball. Yeah, <laughs> well put. Yes. Well, man, you uh, you got a pretty cool looking interior too. We wanted to get a little bit of the hot rod theme from all kinds of places. Eight so ball spinner. Eight ball spinner, the whole works. And Surprising amount of room in there, though, even with uh, the chop. Uh, bugs are absolutely huge on the inside. To what they look on the outside. I'm six foot three, and I fit in here no problem, even with the chop. Man, well, what's the? What, that looks like a motorcycle grip or something. It, it used to be actually I, I converted into an old uh, flamethrower kit for the back. We this actually, is a flamethrower. We have a flamethrower kit out of the old exhaust tubes. We actually won second place at Devil's Lake here yesterday. In the flamethrower contest. Flame competition. Are you kidding me? I'm not. How did people yet. feel about a, a a bug taking second? Flames coming out of a bug can be pretty common, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I never thought of it that way, but you're right. Yeah, it's, it's kind of true. Now she looks wider too. We've added four and a half inches of metal on the fenders either side to fit the big boots in the back. So you got you got a four and a half inch chop, four and a half inch wider. And four and a half inch suspension drop. Oh, so like a four and a half theme here. Four and a half. And, and it is, as you say, it's it's rat bug. It is rat bug. Are you still running a, a VW engine? VW, yeah, still running the VW engine, although we have modified it quite a bit. We've got uh, a 1641 big bore kit with the dual Weber dual throat carbs. We've got a 110 racing cam, port and polished heads. We're popping about 140 horse now. And then these are your these are your flamethrowers. These are the flamethrowers. Actually, the exhaust doesn't even come out of here anymore. They come out from under here. Uh huh. And we blast our flames out from the back <laughs> there. <laughs> Did you come to this show every year? Every so, year. Well, this is our third year. But it's a great show, isn't it? Excellent. My it's favorite a, of the year. This it, is it our is season cool. opener for us, and we love it. Man, well, I love your car, man. Rat bug. Rat bug. Nice work. You're an artist, Thanks man. Thanks very much. Steve, good work. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Trevor, this is completely insane. This, near as I can tell, <laughs> is a it's a Kaiser. It's a 54? 54. Kaiser Deluxe. Kaiser Deluxe. Well, man, now where did, 
Where did you come from to come to the show? I came from Manitoba. Manitoba? Right yeah, oh, the, great, Manitoba. the Great White North. Yep. And did you, you did you drive this from Manitoba? But of course. But of, <laughs> but of course. <laughs> you know, it's not restored, obviously. I mean, no, yeah, she's no, no cream puff, you know, nope. but but it's certainly interesting. Was it was it this color? Uh, no, it was actually a really not very nice yellow. Hmm. Painted with a brush. Painted with a brush. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wild car, the shape of it's wild and everything. But I gotta tell you, I have never seen an interior quite like this. And is this for real? This, I was told that it was a bamboo edition and the guy just did it, redid it with oak. Wow. Yeah. So we we believe that it looked like this originally. Yeah. Yeah. These taillights are real similar to the 54 Kaiser Darren. Yeah. And, they, was... and back then I'm sure they were using parts every way they could to try and stay alive. Now, this is gonna have some sort of a six in it, right? Some sort of flex? Yeah, it's actually a Supersonic six cylinder. Supersonic six cylinder. Let's you have a look bet. at the supersonic six cylinder. Supersonic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. She ain't no cream puff, is she? No. Wow. She's... Well, and is that a is that a primer cup or what is that up there? No, that is actually a block heater. Oh, that's right. It's kind of cold where you come from. Yes, Andy. it is. <laughs> up in Canada, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Not that it'll be used. <laughs> right. This is it's one of the wildest cars I've ever seen. And how's that hood fit? Kind of, kind of work good. it. You got all <laughs> just work it down there. It's a, a heavy bit. hood. <laughs> it's, it's that is a heavy car. It's a heavy car. And you oh, drove yeah. it from Manitoba. All the way here, three tanks of gas. Three tanks of gas. But she run pretty nice. Beautiful. This is a killer car. Trevor, thanks for bringing it down, man. Appreciate it. Great car. Thanks. Kaiser Deluxe. Deluxe. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Jerry, this is a beautiful car. Fifty-seven Buick Century. I love these cars, I love Buicks. This color, I'm a sucker for this color, so you brought, you definitely brought the right car today. <laughs> My wife is too. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a, this is a driven car. Yes. This is no trailer queen, no cream puff. There's a ding nope. here, a snick there, there. But you use this car, yes, right? Yes, we do. Yep. That, yep. you know, I always respect that. I like yep. it. Now she's a Century, right? Yes. But she's got four of the, the, the Venta ports. I thought yes. that was Roadmaster. Well, you're correct, but when you go to the Century R, which is the Riviera package, then you end up with four. Ah, okay. Yep. Now, 57, did they still have the, the floor start in this? Yes, they did. And like I, uh, the first time I got into it, I didn't know how to start it. <laughs> yeah, I like, asked somebody. There's a key, I got a, there's yeah. a button, where's, how do you do this? There's nothing, there was nothing there. I couldn't find anything. The key wouldn't, would only turn so far and I couldn't get it started, so. Well, it takes some getting used to, but you yep. just. You have to hit the accelerator oh. and she fires right up. Step her to the floor yep. off, off she goes. And, and does, does it run well? It runs great. Oh, yeah. You bet. Power steering? Power, power brakes. Power brakes. No not power, power steering, steering hmm. which is real interesting. Well, that's a pretty heavy car. Yeah. You want to be moving when you be cranking that well, wheel. And you right? want to stop it. Yeah. 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 You, know, want, you want it to stop. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do want it to. Well, no air conditioning. No. But it's a North Dakota North car. North Dakota car. Go figure, right? Yep. Yep. That was pretty rare back then. We don't need air conditioning no, up here. No. But, you know, beautiful all the way to that. It does look like you've um, re-chromed back yes, here. Yes, yes. I had the bumpers, rear bumpers done last year. I had the front bumpers done just recently. So has this got a nail head engine? Yes, it does. How big? 364. 364? Yep. Hmm. Let's have a look at it. Well, again, working engine, working car, right? Absolutely right. Well, you nothing bet. nothing looks like a nail head either. I mean, yep. it's sitting straight up there, the valve covers. That's right. Well, now, what all has been done? It. The only thing we've done to it, uh, we put a new radiator core in it, and and we also had I had the heads off to put hardened seats and valves in so we can burn the gas that we have now a little and, bit. And does better. it does it tolerate today's yeah, gas? It does. Wow. That and works does better. she just float down the road? It runs down the road great, just oh. like a Buick. Just like a Buick should, man. You bet. God. That's a, that's a solid hood there. Yes, too, it is. <laughs> Clank. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very lot, much. Jerry. You bet. Beautiful car, man. You bet. Well, Julie, this is an interesting car, and it's yours. Yes, it is. It's yours. Yes. It's not anybody else's. No, it's, it's mine. Your, it was yours. It was built for you. It's yours. You're going to drive it. It's yours. Yes. Period. Yes. Right. Now, it's a 52 Plymouth Belvedere. Yes, it is. And it's got some sort of family connection, right? Yes, it was my great aunt's car. Well, I like it. You know, you've 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 rotted it, but not a lot. You've just sort of you shaved the handles. Yes. But otherwise, it, it looks pretty stock. Yes. From the outside, we, anyway. We wanted to keep it nice and clean and simple. Yeah, I love your color combination, and you, you've obviously obviously got shamrocks everywhere, and we're emerald green, and you're pretty attired <laughs> in green, and I I really like your white interior. It's so clean looking. 
That's obviously yes. not uh, the original. No, it was a bench seat originally, but the seats and the console are out of a Monte Carlo. Okay, but you kept the dash pretty much uh, 52 Belvedere, didn't yes, you? Yes, the dash is original. It looks like you had to, I mean, did you redo the gauges? Because they look so good. They uh, look brand new. Yeah, no. No kidding, that's original. No. Boy, yeah. your aunt must have really taken care of this baby. <laughs> yeah, she did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what would she think of it if she saw it now? I think she'd not think it was the same car. <laughs> what I think is kind of interesting, and, and I guess this too was stock, is this trim line here. Yes. The, the, I mean, it looks almost like a little hat set on this thing. Yes. It's uh, the saddleback, they call it, and, and that was uh, distinctive to this year. Yeah. Back here, you've, you've you know, cleaned it up, shaved it, and you've molded the bumpers in. That doesn't quite look like it originally <laughs> did. What'd you do? We turned the bumpers around and then painted it to match the car. Oh, so you we... flipped them? Yes. Now, this would have, in 52, it would have had a, some sort of flathead six or something, right? Yes, it did. And you probably don't have that, but what do you what do you have powering it now? And we have a 318. Ooh, so you kept it Mopar. Yes, it's Mopar. It's, it's Chrysler. Mopar. Yes. <laughs> through and through. Through and through. Popper open. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, it fits in there nicely. Yes. And uh, you know that's a great engine. It's durable. It's reliable. You can get parts for it forever. Yes. Yes. And it's plenty to pull this car around. It pulls around just great. It's a gorgeous car. I love the story. I love the family connection. And again, yes. you got. You, you're dressed for it. I even saw, did I see some bling here, some green? Yeah, we have some bling. The emerald bling. bling. I even <laughs> yes. got the green bling. I tell you, my gosh, and Bigara, she's a fine car. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Julie, thank thanks you a lot. Much, thanks. Beautiful car. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Richard, this is a neat car. This is a, this is a, it's not a Rambler. It's, it's American Motors. It's an American Motors. This is an AMC Rebel. Rebel machine. Rebel yes. machine. And that's what's so weird about it. Because when I think of the machine, I think of the white car with the red and blue stripes and, you know, the machine logo on the side and, and kind of almost cartoon looking. But I thought they were all red, white and blue. No, no. The first thousand were red, white and blue. And then you could order solid colored cars, any AMC color. And so total, how many did they make? They made about 1,900. So total. the last 900, you could be anything you wanted. Yes. You got the hood scoop. And is this a metal hood? This metal hood with a fiberglass hood scoop. And you got the hood tack? And tack. And that's okay. even an AMC tack. AMC tack. Yes. I love that. <laughs> now, where did this, where'd you find this car? From Winnipeg. Did you buy it to restore it or? No, we bought it to race it actually. You did, eh? Yes. Wow. <laughs> uh, so we took it to the drag strip a couple of times and then um, had a little bit of problems. So we fixed that and then I kind of started restoring it and it sort of went from there. Man. Well, it's a very, you know, very Rambler-esque dash, isn't yes. it? <laughs> Kind of a funky radio there. Yes, it's kind of the, vertical the other way, radio. vertical radio. And you went, you've got an automatic transmission, and you you bought that to race. Yes, more consistent if you have automatic than a four-speed. What a, what a neat car! I'm, I'm surprised that the uh, the interior is in such good shape. Was the exterior as good? Uh, there was dents all over because oh. uh, his kids used to jump up and down on the roof. But yeah, the that's, that's tough on him. <laughs> yeah, really that's tough on. AMC never got enough respect, you know, for yeah. for as strong a car as they built sometimes. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they built their, you know, grocery getters, but these were pretty fast cars yes. because yes. they had a very special engine, didn't yes. they? Let's go look at that very special okay. engine. Oh, there it is. All right. So that's, that's a, it's a 390. 390, right? 340 horse. 340 yes. horse, solid lifters. Yes. And that's a functional hood scoop? Functional hood scoop, yes. Tromp down on it, vacuum opens up. So how competitive was this on the, on the strip? 14 ones was the uh, stock yeah. and uh, a very and you consistent car. You, you raced it in stock configuration, yes. basically? Yes. That is neat. Now, you didn't race it with that interior in there, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly <laughs> the way it is, except for the paint job. <laughs> we'll close her up. So you just cruise to the strip. Cruise you know, to the strip, drive her home. A few quarter miles. and Drive her just home. Drive, drive her, go out to dinner on the way home, probably. Yeah. Man. Well, this, this is a very cool car. I've never seen one in this color. And uh, I'm really glad you brought it out today, Richard. Thank you very much. AMC Rebel Machine. Machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we had a blast up here in North Dakota this week at Devil's Run. I love this show. Fabulous location, some really cool cars, and some of the nicest folks you'll meet anywhere. Let me tell you, this event's got must attend written all over it.